Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how I made this digital planner using OneNote. I have been experimenting with OneNote and found that it has very limited design options. So in this tutorial I will be using inserts which in digital planning terms is, stickers. I use PowerPoint to make my inserts then save it as a PNG image. If you would like me to make a tutorial on how I make my inserts using PowerPoint, let me know in the comment section below. Also, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell to be notified when I upload more tutorials like this. In OneNote, create a new notebook. You can change the top tab to months, if you prefer. Delete the time and the date at the top of the page. Click on the View tab and select, Hide Page Title. Next, click on the Insert tab and insert your planner cover. You can find a link to the inserts I use, in the description below. My zoom is on 64%, but, you can use any size you want, and adjust your cover till you're happy with the size. Right-click on your image, and, select, Set Picture as Background. In OneNote it is very difficult to insert an image over an image, therefore we set the picture as background. Now you can design your planner to your liking using the inserts. When you set your next picture as background, you will notice that it disappears. To fix this, right-click on your cover image, deselect, set as background image. Then right-click on the same image and select, set as background again. You will see that both images are now set as the background images. Follow these steps for all your inserts.
you can insert more than one image at a time. You can also create a sticker tab or page in your notebook and save all your images on the page. The reason why I'm using a sticker here instead of OneNotes editor is because there is not an option to rotate the text box. Copy the page you just created and paste below it. Because we hit the page title, the title of the page will automatically change to what is written in the top text box. Here I'm changing my text to the next month, so that month will be the title of my page. Copy and paste all your pages for the following months the same way. Next we are going to link our monthly tabs to the pages we just created. Go back to the first page you made. Select the image with the first month, click the insert tab and click link. Search for the corresponding page and select it. Do the same for other remaining months. Once you've linked all your pages, click the Draw tab and select Lasso Select Tool. Draw with your tool around all the images you have just linked to select all the images. Once all your images have been selected, right-click and copy. Click on the page below and use your tool again to select all the month images. Delete those images, right-click, paste and move the copied images into place. Repeat with all remaining pages. Now all your pages will have clickable month tabs.
Go back to the first page, right-click and copy. Paste below the page. Move the page to the right to make it a sub-page. On the new page, right-click on each image and deselect set picture as background and delete the images. Delete all inserts until only the cover remains. You can then design your daily planner page. Set your image's picture background immediately after you're happy with the placement. This will make designing much easier and will prevent the movement of the image when inserting a new one. The reason I don't design my planner in PowerPoint and just insert the whole planner as a PNG is because I want the freedom to design it the way I like in OneNote. So all that is left now is to add text. You can add as many more pages as you like. I hope this tutorial was helpful, and please let me know in the comment section below if you would like more OneNote tutorials. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials.
Thank you. 